me. I have not posted a YouTube video in a month. My bad. I did say I was going to post a video every week, but I do have good reason. And the reason is that technology hates me. Every piece of technology I have is like messed up right now. And so it's made creating videos almost impossible. I don't have my own laptop, so I've been using Alex's laptop to edit and post the videos, but it's kind of old and it's not working very well and it made posting that last video so difficult. It took three days to load a 15 minute video. So on top of that, the Wi-Fi here just does not work at all. So I've had to like go to friends' houses and stuff to like load stuff there. So I can't work from home. Something's wrong with this camera battery. It only lasts for about 10 minutes. So that's good. And then my phone is completely out of storage and the iCloud won't back up. So yeah, and I also just need to get a new phone. So basically, I'm going to try to upload when I can. I honestly don't even know how I'm going to upload this video that I'm recording right now, but I've just, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. But I just needed a break there for a second because it just was so, it made me, it was so frustrating to like try to make that video and then I just needed a break after that. But I'm going to work on getting better resources. I want to get a new laptop and I want to get a new phone and I need to get a battery for this camera and then I'm going to figure out my iCloud situation. I've been talking to Apple about it for a month and they still haven't figured it out. So, But yeah, I'm hoping once I get those new items that the process of making YouTube videos will be a lot smoother so then I can create more often. But we will see. But anyways, it's good to be back and thank you for watching this. Okay, 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 breakfast! I know. I'm coming. Hey. I'm using the Insight Timer app. I'm doing a meditation challenge. It's called Finding Inner Peace. In seven days, this man is gonna teach us. He looks like he's gonna teach us. I actually love him. He's really good. <laughs> Let's go. Can't wait, day three, getting inner peace.
morning. Today is actually Halloween. Halloween kind of snuck up on me this year, so I didn't really plan anything or have a costume, which is super lame. I'm not that good of a planner, so I feel like Halloween always creeps up on me and then I forget to do anything, so. Here's another year of me doing that. Freya is feeling a lot better after her surgery. Yay! She left four teeth in her mouth. Her breath is so much better. It's not stinky anymore. It's kind of funny though because she's usually very independent and like doing her own thing, but the past few days she has been very um, kind of, I don't want to say the word clingy, but sort of clingy to me. And it's been cute. I love it. She sleeps by my head every night, which is usually like Fawn's thing, but she, she has claimed sleeping by my head for the past week. Alex has been out of town for like a week and a half, and I think he's going to be out of town for another week. And I wish we were doing something for Halloween together, but... I took a class on Sunday that my friend was teaching. She's like the cutest little hippie girl. Like, I love her. She's so cute and amazing and talented. And she makes really awesome crochet, and she's teaching a class on how to crochet. It's very hard, but I am very excited to kind of be opening myself up to another creative realm. Uh, I definitely have a lot to learn, but I'm learning. Anyways, I might go to the bar today and crochet with her for a little bit. So I kind of feel like I want to have a cozy night in. Maybe do like a little ritual and like watch a movie. That sounds perfect to me, so we'll see. I don't really know what the day is going to have in store. Look at Freya. Hold on. Freya, what are you doing? <laughs> Are you looking cute? I am not really in the mood to dress up, but I feel like I could maybe throw something together that won't be that difficult. So it'd be like I'd be trying a little bit, but we'll see. I feel like this would be easy. I got this at a thrift store a while ago, and it's like just like this little dress and I could just be a fairy I wouldn't have any wings but okay this is my last minute fairy costume I will definitely be recycling this outfit next year and doing it more justice it's just that today I'm just going to crochet at the bar um, and I want to be dressed up but I don't really have any plans per se so I'm definitely gonna be using this next year so if you see it again no you didn't okay this will be our little secret. The crazy part is, is that this isn't a costume. This is a clothing line. And I looked it up and all the clothes are the same. They all have like this like fairy design. And that's really cute. I should, hold on. This is the brand. It's called Pretty Angel Fashion. All their clothes are really fairy and angel-y looking. So, give them a look. I should put in like a little feather in these little... I feel like these are something a fairy would find and then put on. And then put on some green. We're really going for the green, baby. Should I add anything else? Oh, like a cute... I was thinking like a cute butterfly clip up here. That would be perfect. Oh my god, you look so pretty. Hi you guys, I have kind of been dilly-dallying all morning. The day has gotten away from me, unfortunately, and now I feel a little guilty about it. I have to run some errands, they're sorta of girl errands. I do have to do some important things, like to go to the post office and I have to go to the grocery store, but I also wanna to go to Home Goods and get some candles because I burned all through my candles yesterday, so. I think I'm gonna do that now, and then tonight I wanna have like a somewhat productive night. I wanna clean a little bit, but then I kinda of wanna curl up and watch a movie. I think that sounds kind of perfect, so that's the plan. Let's go. I'm in jeans. It's a rare sight indeed. I'll be back before dinner time, baby.
of people. I have a love-hate relationship with Trader Joe's. I love their stuff, but I hate going in there. It feels like I'm being hunted for sport when I go in there. Like the anxiety levels are so high. My kitchen is also a big mess right now, so I have to clean that right after this. This Chardonnay is $5 at Trader Joe's and it's not bad. I really like these cans. I get the chickpeas and the beans and the tomato sauce. You can kind of make a bunch of different stuff with these and it's just really easy to like add on to stuff like salads. This one I like to add to my eggs in the morning and like give it more protein and flavor. It's really really good. I love to marinate my tofu in this teriyaki sauce. This is the only snack I'll let myself get. I am kind of an ingredients household. I just don't buy a lot of snacks but these oh my god so good. It's salty and sweet, dude. It's so good. I bought another bag. In terms of candles, I love more like warm, cozy scents. I really love the fur, like balsam tree smell, but it has to be like perfect. And they didn't have ones that smelled exactly like what I wanted. So I went with this one, mostly because the jar was really pretty. And I can use this after the candle so I don't feel like I'm wasting it. It's cinnamon vanilla, which isn't usually my go-to, but I know Alex likes it a lot, so. He's not even here. He's out of town, so I don't know why I got this. I'm probably gonna use it before he gets back, but. <laughs> He'll be here in spirit. That's good. I also got uh, new candlesticks, but looking at them now, I think they're pink. I meant to get white ones, but they look a little pink. Why does my hair look so crazy? What? Oh well. I was also supposed to get picture frames, but I forgot to measure the picture. So I never did that. So I'm just gonna have to go back again another time and do that, but whatever. I got candles. I got a single candle and whatever. kitchen I'm gonna make it a mess again and make dinner. I don't really feel like making anything interesting. I think I'm just gonna make a salad tofu call it a night. I am on the second Crescent City book, House of Sky and Breath. I'm digging it. Standing in his living room and gulping down his second cup of coffee, Flynn lounging beside him. Okay, since I did dilly-dally a good bit this morning, I do have a little bit of work to do this evening before I go to bed. Um, I just have to write two video scripts. I figured I could set up the projector and watch YouTube videos while I worked. Just sounds like a cute and cozy night. Um, and then I'm gonna go to bed because I'm actually very tired, but I'm trying to pretend that I'm not because I have a lot to do left, so let's get going.